Hello and welcome to Dave Tooth Academy. Today we are going to be looking at solutions to some of the questions on WAEC 2016 objective paper on circle theorems. And like I said in my previous videos, having an understanding of the principles of circle geometry is going to help a lot. And today, using those applications, using those theorems, we are going to be solving all these questions together. And first on our list, is question number 18 that we are given the diagram and we are told that yw is a tangent to the circle and uv and ux are equal in length and we are given the angle vxw to be 50 and that's to find the value of uxy now first and foremost looking at this question we can see that angle xuv is going to be angle wxv and what's the reason for that because the angle subtended by the tangent drawn to a circle is equal to the angle in the alternate segment. And so, since that is 50 degree already, you can see that the two sides are equal inside um, UV and VX of the triangle, of the isosceles triangle. Since they are equal, that makes it an isosceles triangle. And we know that base angles of an isosceles triangle are always equal. Since the two sides are equal, the base angles are also going to be equal. So we have angle VXU is also going to be angle XUV, and that is also 50 degree. And looking at this, um, we know that the UXY that we are asked to find, and the VXU that we just found, and the angle that we are giving VXW, they are all on a straight line. And we know that the sum of angles on the straight line is um, 180 degree and easily that ensures that we can solve our question and it's as simple as it comes like that just to understand the principles to apply there are many ways you can solve this also okay now looking at this question we are asked to find the value of m and we are giving um, the angle at the center 10 m facing downwards and the angle at the circumference facing upwards as m degrees now applying our principles of circle geometry we know that the angle that is subtended at the center of the circle is twice the angle that is subtended at the circumference and that makes that means that our angle m x o z is going to be twice angle x w z and that is going to give us 2m and now having that simple understanding has helped us seriously to forge ahead in the solution of this particular question and we also know that the angle at a point normally they will sum up to 360 degree so angle x o z plus angle x o z the one facing up and the one facing down they are going to sum up to 360 degree that means 2m and 10m is 360 degree and solving for him from the question you can easily got get the value of m to be 30 degree and that is done and dusted with that question just to have an understanding of our theorems and how to apply them we can find the solution to the questions that are given to us now um, observing and knowing the principles that we need to apply will always help us to solve our questions here we are given a triangle that is isosceles uh, meaning that two sides are equal and normally, with that principle, we know that since two sides are equal, the base angles are also going to be equal. But going back to our understanding of cyclic geometry, we know that opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral are equal. So angle PQR and angle PSR, they are going to sum to a total of 180 degrees. And we are giving PQR as 117. And solving for PSR, we can easily get our PSR to be... 63 degrees and now since we know psr is 63 degree we also know that um this other base angle of the isosceles triangle is also going to be 63 degrees why because base angles of an isosceles triangle they are always equal so you can see how the understanding of um the principles that guides circular geometry and triangle properties will help us to solve the questions and moving on from there we know that we can easily find angle prs
Moving on from there, we know we can easily find the angle PRS because the sum of angles of a triangle we also add up to 180 degrees. And we have already gotten two base angles of the triangle, both of them having a value of 63 degrees. So our PRS, like that, we can solve by subtracting 63 in two places from 180 degrees. And once we find our PRS, we can now apply another principle on circuit geometry to find the requested angle PST. Now our PRS we can solve to be 54 degree. And looking at this particular diagram, we can see that the angle subtended by a tangent is always equal to the angle in the alternate segment of the circle. And that means our angle PST is also going to give us um, 54 degree, which is angle PRS. And that is the simple solution to our questions. The key of your printer is to know your principles, familiarize with yourself with them, and also be able to identify that there is an isosceles triangle that will help in solving the question. Another question in the same year, question number 41, we are giving again a cyclic quadrilateral. But looking at this question, one of the things you need to understand first and foremost is that there is no line passing through the center of the circle. If a line had passed through the center of the circle, we could have said the angle subtended at the circumference of that particular segment of the circle, of course, that will make it a semicircle. Then the angle subtended at the circumference will be 90 degrees. But this is not the case in this particular scenario. So you are going to look for a way to solve it. And first and foremost, we know that PQR and PSR, they are opposite angles of the cyclic quadrilateral. And so they will add up to 180 degrees. And now we can see that um, PSR is comprising of two angles 60 and 80 and from the solving we can get angle pqr to be um 40 degree the angle opposite to the sum of 60 and 80 is 40 degree degree from the triangle pqs we know that we have 100 degree as one of the angles we have 60 degree as another angle we can find the third angle pqs by solving for the sum of angles in a triangle which we also understand to be 180 degree and in trying to solve that we can add psq sqp and qps all of them are going to add up to 180 degree and easily that can give us our angle pqs which is 180 remember is one of the angles that is going to make up 40 degree that we have gotten before so since we have our angle sqp now as um, defined by 20 degree we know that sqr can be excluded from pqr by subtracting sqp from it because both of them both both sqp and sqr constitute angle pqr so from there we can easily solve for what we're asked to solve for sqr is going to give us 40 minus 20 and that's 20 degree the solution to the question that we are asked question 48 in the same year 2016 why question here we are giving him in as a chord of a circle with center hole and radius 10 centimeter now from this particular diagram we are asked to find the length of the coordinate, but we can introduce a point T on the diagram, and we can see that that is the right angle triangle with 10 as the hypotenuse and 70 degree defined for us already. Now, um, from Sokatoa, we know that finding sine 70 is going to give us opposite over hypotenuse, and the opposite in this case is line MT. The hypotenuse is 10 and moving ahead to solve for empty line empty we can see that it will give us 10 sine 70 and bringing our calculator we can get the value of 10 sine 70 to be 9.3969 you should know that we are asked to find the answer correct to the nearest centimeter but we will do that at the end of our solution. Now, nobody introduced empty for us. We introduced empty, but from what we drew and the properties of a circle, we know that um, 
mt is going to be half of mn because a line drawn from the center of the circle perpendicular to a chord bisects the chord and using that principle we know that mn is going to be twice the mt that we just calculated and that is 18.7938 and since the question is asking us to get the nearest centimeter that will be approximately 19 centimeter now those are some of the applications of the principles of circuit geometry that we can make use of in solving our questions and that's all we'll be having for today is Bluetooth Academy if you like this video kindly subscribe and God bless you